show you how I went from this to this. Hi, I'm the Maker Monster. This is the Maker Monster Show, and I think that we can find happiness by bringing our ideas and our imaginations to life. Now, I don't mind corded tools. The Monster Shop is not a big place, so I'm not too worried about not being able to reach an outlet. But one thing I hate is wrestling these stupid cords back into the bags, or wrapping them up around the tool, or trying to get a tool down from the wall. So I'm gonna fix that. And these are what's gonna make that possible. It's a two-part power connection system that's usually used for music and audio equipment, but it's gonna work perfectly for getting rid of these stupid cords. It's got one part that's connected to the tool, and the other part is connected to power. Then you just pop them together and they lock nice and securely. So the first thing I had to do was design a backing piece to cover up this bit and connect them to the tools. So I put this together in Fusion and printed a few out. After I cleaning them up a bit, installing some heat set inserts, and adding a strain relief push. I wasn't quite sure what these did before this, but I'll show you why it's important in a little bit. It was ready to put together. So let me go grab the sander and a stupid cord out of the bag. And get rid of it. No going back now. Now to strip cables like this, you just need to lightly score around the outside, bend it back over on itself, and just pull off the casing. Depending on the cord, you'll end up with either two or three wires to strip like normal. Make sure you put the backing piece on now because you won't be able to fit it later. Now I'm just gonna add these little wire terminals to connect them to the power adapter. So just crimp them on and connect them to the right blades. They're labeled, so it makes it nice and easy. Then just slide it into the backing and put it together with some three millimeter screws. Now, here's where the strain relief comes into play. It clamps down on the wire right here at this point so that if it gets tugged, it gets tugged at that point and it doesn't just yank the wires right off the blades. And that's it for that part. <laughs> Look at his little tail. Okay, now that that part's done, it's time to figure out the power side. And for that, I'm gonna use this. Make sure it's not plugged in. Don't need these. I'm gonna strip this just like the other one, except this one has three wires. Now just take this piece apart, this slides right out. This part didn't have any labels, so I got out my multimeter to figure out which wire goes where. I just connected the two halves together and poked around a bit until I labeled each one. Here's where each wire goes, so you don't have to do that. Make sure to slide these back parts on before connecting the wires. And then just use the screws to connect each wire to the right spot. Then just screw the backing on. The white part there is the built-in strain relief. Okay, done. Now I've just got to plug them together and see if it works. I either completely ruined my sander or I'm a genius. Let's see, just plug this in here. All right, all right. Here we go. <laughs> I'm a genius! <laughs> oh, and then I could just boop. <laughs> this is amazing. I got so excited, I did this to all of my other tools too. My heat gun, my angle grinder, and my track saw. And look how easy it is to get back in the bag now. I put links in the video description to all the different parts that I used. And here's an extra bonus. Now nobody can borrow my tools and never return them. Thanks for watching. Here's a playlist of some other things that I've made that you might enjoy. I'll see you next week. Bye.